I wonder if you feel that big powers, Russia, the United States, perhaps even the European Union, are happy with the international law remaining so vague so that they can always justify their cause. It doesn't uh, justify. I don't think you can say that international law justifies its violation. But you can always find is, a clause whether, that supports you in some No, I don't think so. You can, I mean, there are clear violences, uh, violations of the international law. And I don't think that you have the possibility to justify that. But don't you think that the international community needs to come up with very unambiguous definitions of the international law that would, you know, exclude this multiplicity of interpretations as a, and as a consequence uh, conflict over them? Because again, what we saw in Syria, what we are now see, seeing in Ukraine, I think what we saw in Libya also demonstrates that many conflicts uh, at the end of the day stems from very different interpretations of the international law of what is allowed and what is not allowed and you know different responsibilities and different standards think, for different countries I think there is I don't think that the standards are explicitly different I think there are different extents of violations of international law and I don't want to say that it's one-sided I mean, if you look over the last 30 years, you have different issues where international law has been violated by different governments. Yes. And it's important that this is called by its name. So, above all, when, you, when it comes to a country like Switzerland, we are, as, let's say, a medium-sized country, very, we rely on the respect of international law because otherwise we are not pr protected. I think that is something it, which is a lesson which has to be developed further.